Welcome to the uh, third part of the uh, uh, Nokia N93 and Nokia N93i comparison. Today I want to focus uh, more on the pictures and the videos that these two devices take and uh, give you a little bit um, feedback on their behavior with regard to uh, the screen uh, tilting uh, when in camera mode. I think that this phone really performs uh, as expected, meaning that it is very user-friendly, whereas the older version is not really all that intuitive in its behavior when it uh, switches from using this camera to the built-in camera in the in the earpiece of the phone. One thing that, that I really always found very annoying about the N93 is uh, part of its camera, camera functionality. Um, when you uh, proceed to take a picture of, of something, like in this case, you know, I don't know, the keyboard here in the background, um, and you take the picture, you remain in camera mode, then that's, I think, a good idea because you might take another uh, shot. Now, what happens, though, when you are done taking pictures and you rotate the device around, you end up switching into a camera mode. And I think that is really using the, the, the camera up here, so you can see I'm covering it up with my finger right now. Uh, that's something that I really dislike about, about this phone, because it really um, creates uh, some disturbing uh, annoyances when you really want to make a phone call, so you have to exit out of the application and, uh, and things like that. So I really uh, dislike that about the uh, uh, Nokia N93. Now let me show you what the N93i does in the same situation. Again, I'm getting ready to, to take a picture here, uh, again, of the keyboard. And you might have noticed that you did not hear the shutter button. Um, actually, on the N93i, you have the ability, when you switch into uh, the silent mode uh, up here using this button at the top, uh, the N93i will not make any noise when taking pictures. However, the N93 uh, ha does not have that ability. You can switch it to any mode, silent, meeting, disable all system sounds, uh, but you're unable to get rid of that annoying uh, shutter sound, which I think uh, really is uh, is annoying for me in, in situations where I want to take pictures in a sort of quiet environment like during a speech or something like that. So I, I can't really use this, this phone, neither for video or audio uh, or um, picture recording. So I, I, I really haven't used it. But um, in any case, what I really wanted to uh, to show you here in this, in this scenario was when you rotate the display now around on the Nokia N93, you notice that it immediately goes back into the phone mode, which I think is the much more logical way of sort of dealing with uh, the built-in camera because this camera is actually not intended to take pictures but more for video conferencing as I had hinted uh, at in one of my earlier um, versions of this uh, review. Now one other thing that I noticed when taking pictures uh, while I was outside this display on the N93i is awesome. I mean it is very clear, very crisp and ha displays images wonderfully. The image on the N93, the predecessor, uh, is really of much lower quality. You can see some of the sort of noise that uh, that originates from the sensor built in to the camera uh, part here and um, really doesn't look that nice on the display. However, uh, my feeling is, and you can judge that for yourself, when you really look at the camera, uh, at the pictures that these two phones take um, side by side, they eventually end up looking exactly the same. 